Hello friends, then we are let's quickly discuss the internal capsule now if uh, what is internal capsule internal capsule is a uh, collection of a white fiber system okay through which all the uh, projection fibers pass okay both ascending and descending fibers pass through the internal capsule okay so this is the internal capsule next come to the parts of internal capsule internal capsule has got one anterior limb one genu and a posterior limb so these are the three parts of the internal capsule further there are two more parts one is called a sub lentiform part and one more is called as a retro lentiform part which is in the most posterior one third okay uh, we'll come to that later now just look into the orientation of internal capsule where is anterior limb and where is this posterior limb is a uh place this is caudate nucleus this is lentiform nucleus and this is thalamus see anterior limb is between the caudate nucleus and lentiform nucleus okay and the posterior limb is between the lentiform nucleus and the thalamus okay great now after that we need to know what fibers pass to what part of the internal capsule just remember this is the anterior limb this is the genu and this is the posterior limb and what passes through genu and what passes through posterior limb we'll learn that first okay it is very simple to remember okay anything with the head and neck pass through the genu anything with related to the body pass through the posterior limb got it right so both the motor and the sensory tract of head and neck pass through the genu both the motor and the sensory tract of the body pass through the posterior limb okay now tell me what is the first will take in, take into account the body okay so what is the motor tract of the body nothing but cortico spinal tract what is the motor tract of the head and neck that is nothing but cortico nuclear tract okay what is the sensory tract of the body spinothalamic system and dorsal column medial hemiscal system what is the sensory tract of the head and neck what takes sensation from the face it is trigeminal it's as simple as that motor and sensory anything with the head and neck both motor and sensory pass through the genu anything with the body both motor and sensory pass through the posterior limb so corticospinal tract and spinothalamic dorsal column system okay pass through the posterior limb okay cortico nuclear fibers and trigeminal tract pass through the genu great now what is left what is left is anterior limb anterior limb you have to remember two things one is cortico pontine fibers cortico pontine fibers and one more is thalamic radiation that is anterior thalamic radiation these are the two things we can remember in anterior limb one is cortico pontine fibers and one more is anterior thalamic radiation now books mentioned cortico pontine fibers okay mainly passes through anterior limb but some cortico pontine fibers also passes through the posterior limb and uh, these sens sensory tracts are usually mentioned in the form of a thalamic radiations okay okay next we have left with these two things okay that is medial and lateral geniculate body this is medial geniculate body this is lateral geniculate body okay you know that medial geniculate body m for music so it is auditory radiation it is going underneath the lentiform nucleus so it is called a sub lentiform part it is going into the auditory cortex next this is lateral geniculate body it is going in the retrograde direction so it is called as retro lentiform part and it is going into this so it is since it is lateral geniculate body l for light optic radiation it is going into the visual cortex okay as i again repeat it there is a medial geniculate body there is a lateral geniculate body okay this pathway goes underneath the lentiform nucleus so it is called as sub lentiform part this pathway goes in the reverse direction so it is called as retro lentiform part okay great now after that next thing we have to know is uh, about the blood supply of internal capsule see uh, it's actually divided into dorsal and ventral part i it's uh, in this diagram we can't show it actually but i'll anyway tell it to you see internal capsule is divided into two parts one is a dorsal part and one is a ventral part okay this dorsal part is there right this entire dorsal thing entire dorsal part is supplied by one artery that is uh, that is middle cerebral artery okay the entire dorsal part is supplied by one artery that is middle cerebral artery okay and this ventral part is divided into three further part that is again anterior limb genu and the posterior limb the anterior limb is supplied by anterior cerebral artery aca okay the posterior limb is also supplied by aca but the but in this it is anterior choroidal artery so and this is anterior cerebral artery this is anterior choroidal artery okay and the ventral part of the genu is supplied by ica it is ica okay i'll repeat the blood supply again it's divided into two parts one is dorsal and ventral okay the dorsal part is supplied by mca okay it's supplied by mca in the ventral part the anterior limb is supplied by aca that is anterior cerebral artery okay the posterior limb is also supplied by aca but the, but this aca is anterior choroidal artery and the genu is supplied by ica ica okay genu is supplied by ica okay remember this artery is there at anterior cerebral artery one important branch of it is the one which supplies it okay and that branch is a recurrent branch of a hubner okay it is hubner okay hubner is a branch of anterior cerebral artery hubner hubner okay h u b n e r okay hubner hubner okay 
so after that we uh, that was about the blood supply of the internal capsule next we have to know, uh, know the again uh, clinical significance very simple okay what happens stroke is here and what happens stroke is here and what happens if stroke is here okay if stroke happens here is a genu is affected so motor and sensory tract of the head and neck is affected okay if the stroke happens here motor and sensory tracts of the body is affected okay and if the stroke happens here we will have audio and visual symptoms